Hey guys, what's going on? It's GP here and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. So, as you can see, there's a Valentine's event going on, as per usual. Um, where a few plants have been spotlighted, more or less. I haven't been able to get any of them myself. But, I know that I'm gonna try my best to get these few. Um, I believe Hot Date, Blooming Heart, Daisy Chain, and Pyrevine are all in the spotlight. So that is pretty neat. But we're just gonna continue with like normal. I've gotten a few new plants, and a few new plants have actually been added to the game, surprisingly. Not like I'll be able to get them anytime soon. But, yeah. I believe our next goal is gonna be getting to level 18 of Pirate Seas. So yeah, let's just let's just jump into it. If you guys want to see more Plants vs. Zombies on the channel, be sure to absolutely demolish that like button. Absolutely crush it! If you're new to my channel and been watching while having subscribed, please be sure to subscribe. I would appreciate it very much. Oh, that's a heck of an objective. Produce at least 3,000 sun. Feel like I need to get Gold Bloom on deck here then. Oh yeah, all my plants are plant boosted as well because I've gotten more slots in my Zen Garden unlocked. So I've got an absolute huge amount of plants in here. I've almost got all the Zen Garden slots. So that's a first for me. That being said, I'm also going to highlight another new plant that's been the main plant of the tournament that I've gotten recently. I'm going to be showcasing off Hocus Crocus. So this plant, Magic's Close Zombies Back. So any zombie that's the closest near the end, it will be sent back to the start and will take damage as well. Not exactly an entirely reliable plant, but still pretty neat. As you can see down there, the two new plants have been added in. Gloom Vine, so I guess we're never getting Gloom Shroom back, but we'll always see different iterations of it. And the Draftadil. So, it slows and eliminates flying zombies. That does sound really neat. Draftadil sounds like something I might want. Then another vine. They they turned the gloom shroom into a vine. How could you, man? Okay. So let me remember. Our goal is to produce sun. Let's get sunflower. Let's get gold bloom. We're gonna have our defensive explode nut. We're gonna rent this slot. Um... Also, might as well go ahead and get Enchantment. I never showed this off. The most recent Power Mint that became available boosts um, the Magic Plants, so this will help us with Hocus Crocus for certain. I like Grape Shop, but I'm tempted to get Bomagranite again, you know? I'm, I've, I've taken a liking to Bomagranite as of recently. And we need one more plant. What should we get for our final one? Um... Let's let's keep it simple. Let's keep cabbage pulp for now. Let's not use any plant food plants just yet. Actually, that's a good thing because sunflower's got the plant food boost. So we're gonna be getting a lot of sun. Plant down this first gold bloom, and we're set to go. We've already made 525. Absolutely fantastic. All right. Let's set down our first cabbage pulp. Obviously, gonna want to get some hocus crocus in as well. I might put them a bit closer up front than normal. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we are gonna be stocked on sun for this episode. Even though we've only made 925. Um, we start planting down exploded nuts for these. Oh, we got the pirate captain. Yeah, that parrot's gonna try to take my plants. That's not fun. Alright, we already lost the cabbage pulp down there. Fantastic. Let's get our first Hocus Crocus down then. Yep. Oh, just send them right back to Davy Jones' locker then. Straight into the ocean. Okay. Now I'm gonna send them to the plank. Get out of here. You're not wanted. Uh, Bombagrant. Go. I'm gonna set one up there. Alright. Fantastic work. Keep planting down these sunflowers. I'm gonna get a cabbage pole. Gold Bloom. We're in full swing here, folks. We've made over a thousand suns, so that's pretty good so far. Let's get another Hocus Crocus down, actually. Okay, just up and kill him. Not even gonna teleport him. I see how it is. Sunflower here. Alright. As soon as I lose those bombless, I'm gonna plant Exploder Nuts there. Let's go ahead and use uh, Bomber Granite up front. You better not take my Hocus Crocus. Gosh darn it. Okay, so I can put that there. Very good. 
I'll, I think I'll plant enchantment near the end. Well, let's see what Hocus Crocus' plant food is. Oh, it sends multiple back. That is pretty neat. So, I might as well use that at a different time. When... They're all up front. Yeah, that would probably be the most useful there. Okay, let's see. Let me get it a third. I've got pomegranate ready. I've got my enchantment ready to be planted. About to go down. Let's use these on the sunflowers then, because our main goal here is seemingly to produce sun. Ah, we only need a hundred more left. That shouldn't be too hard, right? Gold bloom, get us that left. There we go. Ah, oh, spectacular. I also love how they actually say their name like a Pokemon. We're gonna do it again. There we go. All right, Bombagrant, go. Enchantment, level them up. Make them stronger. Of course, enchantment also works for plants like um, the other enchantment family plants. I believe shrinking violet, hypno shroom, ones like those. All right, absolutely spectacular. First level of today's episode done. Since Sunflower did have the plant boost, let's see what takes his place in the Zen Garden then. A Snapdragon. Aw, all right, pretty neat, pretty awesome. Let's deduct that oh, wait time a little bit, why don't we? That'll be for later though, not anytime soon. Right. So we've showcased Hocus Crocus. Hopefully I might, I don't think that's the last time I'll use enchantment though. So up next, oh, we're gonna be getting a new plant from this one. I say new, but it's a returning face. What have we got this time, Penny? <laughs> Low tide and the waves are coming in. Wait, what? What's going on now? Okay, is this a last stand? I think it is a last stand. Let me grab the coconut cannons. My explode nuts. Ah, shoot, what else should I grab here? Grape shot or bombagranate this time? I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm liking bombagranate more than grape shot. I'll go with grape shot for this one. Hmm. I need some standard attackers. Let's go with my cabbage pulled again because it is level 5 after all. Um. Of course, rent a slot. We got 2,000 sun to work with, so that's that's pretty good. Hmm. I'll grab electric blueberry, because why not? Hmm. I don't think we need shrinking violet for this one. Because at this point, I've basically used all the plants, so i got to figure out what I'm going to use for this. Of course, I'm not getting any sun through this either. Hmm. I'm tending to grab Homing Thistle and Hurricane, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll have enough sun for that. I'll grab Homing Thistle. But I do need one more. Which one should I go for? By chance. Hmm. I'm actually at a loss here. What do I do? What do? How? What? Um. So I've got the cabbage pulse, I've got the coconut cannons. I'm probably gonna, not gonna have too many of those though. Same with the homing thistles. Full row of cabbage pulse, electric blueberries. I've got defense, I've got explosion. I've got a lot of stuff. So what can I do? Maybe someone. Yeah, let's, uh. Either Ghost Pepper or Lava Guava, I'm thinking now. Hmm. You know what, let's go with Ghost, Pe Ghost Pepper this once. Right, we're gonna plan it out first, obviously. So let me get... I'm gonna put the Coconut Cannons top and bottom, why don't I? Um... Homing Thistles. And then I think... Okay, so I don't have enough for anything else this way tell you what let's remove these mark it down to one coconut cannon 
How much do we have when we got our full row of cabbage pulps? Alright, that's good. I can get two electric blueberries. I can't use grape shot, but I can still use a ghost pepper at any chance I want. So let's give this a shot. Because I can plant food power the coconut can, and he, he can do his big coconut and blow up several. Oh man, my homing thistles are actually really strong already because they've gotten so many uh, seeds. They've leveled up quite a bit, I think. Yeah, those don't look like uh, the normal homing thistle projectiles that they shoot. All right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hold out and ghost pepper the best I can. Probably when I lose my first explosion. Which, okay, so I'm lost one yet. Let's fire that cannon. Hmm. Oh yeah, take them out, take them out, take out the parrots, please. Darn it! Those pirate captains and their parrots are really annoying, I have to admit. Let's use your plant food. Blow them all back. Not bad. Let's get ghost pepper in here now. Grow? This is the only ghost pepper I can plant down, though. Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad, though. Um... A lot of them coming from the sides, though, unfortunately. I think electric blueberries got things handled. Coconut cannon go, and my ghost pepper's gonna blow up. But we're already at the end here, so I'd say that was pretty well timed, well used. Let's uh, let's use homing thistles. Home on all of them. Um, I don't think I can fire the coconut cannon any more times, but I think we did it. Did I overthink this too much? I think there's a chance I ever thought this. Let's just fire this cannon and let's just end this battle. Boom! And we've got our newest addition and our next returning character to the roster. So we got the three Peter, shoots peas in three lanes. Of course we got the Snapdragon that basically does the same with fire, and it's not it's close range, not long range. But still, we've got our three Peter back once more. Let me tell you, I've been collecting a lot of seeds for this thing as of recent. So yeah, he's obviously ready. Coconut cannon seeds, very nice. Alright, alright. So yeah, next level I suppose. Wow, it's pretty cheap to start leveling you up, isn't it? Of course, you've got plenty of seeds though. This thing's gonna be level 5 already, just watch. I've gathered so many. Yeah, this is already level 4. I've already got a level 4 3 Peter on my hands, and I just got it. Dang. Alright, so I might as well mark the best of here, but this is definitely a harder challenge than what I've done before. You gotta keep them from trampling the flowers. If they do, then I lose. So let's see here. I've got all the plant food plants. So I'm gonna grab a 3 Peter, obviously, because you're the newest one I've gotten. Let's see, iceberg lettuce. I'll get walnut. Potato mine, kernel pulp, spike weed. I feel like this will do really well. I can use the other peas later. All right. Hopefully this turns out really well. I'd say this is pretty average. And of course, it's gonna take a while to get a three Peter, but I can probably get at least one set down for this. Use walnuts as soon as possible to go in front of those flowers, because with a plant boost, they're going to be especially strong. Gotta get enough sunflower down, though, to start things off. Here we go. Set down our first walnut. Okay, get down a kernel pulp. Of course, even though it's plant food boosted, I'm only going to be able to hit the one. I've got the iceberg list, so I can freeze everything on the field as well. So that should be very helpful for this scenario. It's the thing that sucks, that they've got the plant food boost and there's not really much happening. Oh, here we go, I can use spike weed now. I'll set them up in front of the walnuts, of course. There we go, take them out. Done. Oh, fantastic! That is not as fantastic. Iceberg lettuce, go. Freeze them. Ooh, I need more walnuts fast. 
raiding party, huh? Okay, those two down there are done. Let's use the spike weed there. Ha! <laughs> Still got frozen. Okay, this is the action I was looking for. And now when I plant down the last few kernel poles, it shouldn't be as bad. I still need one more walnut, though. So, we're still not entirely in the clear. Okay. Let's start setting down a potato mine, why don't we? Set them all around. Oh, that's right, they don't go on the planks, they only- that's right. Um, well that's our final walnut, so we've got all the defenses needed. That spike loot is kind of pointless. But, uh, let's see here. Let's plant down our next kernel pult. Butter all of them up. Looks like it is going seemingly well, actually. Oh yeah, three Peter. I can get my three Peter now. Of course, now I get the mini suns for each one I click. Oh, that worked a treat, didn't it? We're going to see three Peters, um, special by the end of this plant food boost or whatever. Oh, we might be able to get quite a few, actually. I'll put them all in the very middle, then. That might work the best here. Iceberg lettuce, ice them up, potato mine. No, that's going to be for three Peter. Come on, potato mine. Well, the potato mine plan didn't really work out like I thought it would. Let's boost Sunflower up. There we go. Three Peters galore. All right, huge wave. Iceberg lettuce. And now let's use three Peters. Whoa! It's every lane. I like that very much. That is very cool. Yeah, let's do it again. Man. That is very, very cool to see. Alright, I'd say... We did well. Let's take out this final bucket head. And there we go, we've got it. Fantastic, I will take those monies, very nice. No flowers are getting trampled today. Let's check into our Zen garden. A lot of you are gone, but let's see what we've got now. We have mistletoe, shrinking violet, explode a nut, marigold, and chomper. Very nice. And of course, the marigolds are going to help me a lot with the monies. Funny enough, I've got each of P in here. I think I'm going to leave the P shooters alone. Um, for the foreseeable future. But we're moving on to the next level. So let's see what we got here. Oh boy. Oh, I know that for certain. So we gotta protect these spring beans. That might be a bit... Yeah, this is where the difficulty is definitely... Amping up, I'd say. Hmm. Colonel Polt, I'll, I'll rent this slot out. Let's see, what have we got? Where are the other two we got? Sticky Bomb Rice and Peanut. Got it. Well, let's see the field again. See, I can't really put... Peanut might be the better op alternative here. I won't be able to wall off the spring beans, but I can have peanut instead of just walnut there because they actually have to chew it to make it detonate. Peanut actually attacks, so that might be a plus. Um, I think I'll get Hocus Crocus again for this one. Why don't I? Shrinking Violet, perhaps. Um, let's get that grape shot. And then one more. What should we get? How about Iceberg Lettuce? Let's see how we do here. Hopefully this goes really well. Okay, just need enough sun to get started off. Of course the spring beans can fend for themselves, obviously. They send things back or into the water. It's just the problem of them falling asleep after they do that. That's my big issue here. Okay. Don't know if Hocus Crocus will be of any help to us in this one after all, but we'll have to wait and see. Come on, Colonel Pultz. 
Let's not let them spring just yet. Hmm. Yeah, let's get our first peanut down, why don't we? Right here. Took out that cone head with ease. Fantastic. Uh, Colonel Bolt. Set down shrinking violet. And an iceberg lettuce. This is quite challenging. Now that I say, oh, that's trouble. That is very much troublesome. Uh, shrinking violet. Let's boost you up. Now you can't push the barrel. Good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Spring. Now he's in danger though. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, freeze. Okay, sprung the barrel. That's good. Shrinking Violet. Go, go, go. Don't let him. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, I am not a fan of this at all. I'm gonna use one on a sunflower here. I got Grape Shot ready. Hocus Crocus. I'm gonna save up these seeds now. Or the sun. Oh, we're almost there. Good. Let's plant down one Hocus Crocus. Let's plant down Grape Shot now. There we go. Shrinking Violet. Maybe I should have waited for Shrinking Violet. Okay. That's fine though, because I can plant you. Or uh, give you the boost, at least. Shrinking Violet again. Gotta wait for them to move though. I don't think that helped. Very much. All right, and we got our grape shot ready again, so let's just do that, why don't we? All right, splendid. We had a close call, but we did it. We kept them alive. Fantastic work. Let's see what treasures we have gained through this pirate pinata, why don't we? Spring bean seeds, that makes sense. Coconut cannon, is that all? All right, I think that's just fine. Now, of course, Peanut has served his time as a boosted plant in the Zen Garden, so who are we gonna get in his place? Ah, Hocus Crocus, of course. Very, very nice. Let us see what comes next now. Alright, we're almost near the end of this episode, it would seem. So, let's do this next level. These challenges are getting tougher and tougher, by and by. Defeat 20 zombies in 30 seconds. That's an interesting challenge. Okay. Let me see. This time I'm going to be grabbing the last one that we haven't used yet, aside from the peas. Sticky Bomb Rice. It's been a while since we've used her. Um, Explode a Nut. Hmm. Let me see. What have we got to work with? I'll keep grabbing Colonel Bolt. Um, I don't know about Spring Bean. What can we work with here, perhaps? Of course we're gonna need an explosion one. I feel like Grape Shot might be able to help me out in this one better than Bombagrant, so I'll go with him for this one. Um, what else have we got? Shrinking Violet might be able to help us out, perhaps. What else can we do, though? What are we gonna go for for this final one? Right, so we're gonna go ahead with this. I replaced Colonel Pult with Spring Bean. Um, because we already had Sticky Bomb Rice. I feel like we don't really need Colonel Pult and Sticky Bomb Rice. And with Spring Bean's plant boost, I can knock several back. So, we'll have to see how this goes. Maybe it's not quite what I was thinking. Let's still give it a try. I also added Snapdragon as well for the close range damage. So, yeah, let's see how this rolls. It's down our first Snapdragon, why don't we? I need more sunflowers. Every time, I need to start off with more. I need to figure out when to set spring beans up top as well. I think Snapdragon should have this one handled, though. 
I hope. There we go. Yeah, just enough to take one out. Just I was hoping. I still need to take out 20 in 30 seconds, though. Need to figure out how I'm gonna work that. Put a Snapdragon down at the bottom there. I'll set my first explode a nut. I only need two more sunflowers now as well. Looks like I might need to get my first sticky bomb rice soon, though, with this guy coming in. Hmm. Set that up. And here we go, sticky bomb rice. Of course, a bit underwhelming because there's only one zombie at the moment. Hopefully this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, there we go, he's going down. Spring bean up top. Get out of here. Awesome. Okay, yeah. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to keep it going where it's just continuous damage. We've got an imp cannon right there, so I'm gonna need another spring bean there soon. Just as I was saying, I think we got all our snapdragons. Let's go for another sticky bomb rice now. Are they gonna detonate? I guess. We'll see. I need another spring bean, darn it. That's what I'll do now. Take a shrinking violet, grow it up with the plant food. Let's use snapdragons, sticky bomb rice, blow them up. We got it! Awesome! I did not mean to get rid of that sunflower. I thought I'd put the shovel back. Okay. Do that. There's the missing green bean we needed. I just need two more sticky bomb rice at least. Uh, grape shot, let's put you down there. Set you up and knock them all over. We're already on the final wave. Very, very nice. Sticky bomb rice. Watch it all fly. And we'll use spring bean to knock some of you back as well. That was actually quite underwhelming. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay. And we have done another level complete. Not too bad. Farewell, Sticky Bomb Rice. You were very, very helpful in the time. And we've got another Marigold in here. Very well, then. I believe we have reached the last level that we're going to be doing for today's episode. I also believe this brings us close to the end of Pirate Seas as well. Yeah, next episode we're going to go to the end here, and then we'll only have the boss left. So let's keep trucking along, then. This next plant is one that was in the last game, but I never managed to get. So survive the zombie attack with the given plants. Got it. So you guys never see me get this plant in my normal playthrough of the first game, but it was there. Trust me. Well, there's our pea shooter being used, so... Alright, I suppose it's not that bad. I mean, to stop another time paradox, we gotta use what we were given, right? Okay, let's get repeater in the back. And then pea shooters in front of them. Then we can get walnuts, spike weeds, and then do whatever we need to do with spring bean and iceberg lettuce. Simple as that. Got our walnut down. I'll set up spike weed right in front of him. Classic tactical maneuver with these two. Okay. See what we got. Yeah, he's gonna go down no problem. I'll go ahead and plant pea shooter here. Oh boy, spring bean. Do your magic. There we go. I still need something for up top there though. More or less a plant food boosted pea shooter. Or a walnut, that works too. Alright. That will work just fine. This is a bit harder because I don't have any sunflowers. I'm waiting for the sun to fall. That's the extra boost that I kind of need. I'll go ahead and plant spring bean here. I'll set up an iceberg list there. Freeze you. Hmm. Oh, I need a walnut there too. I need spike weeds. I need peas. Yeah, that walnut isn't going to be able to hold up for very long. Neither of them are. Give me sun, darn it! I need it. 
here we go. This might be able to take out the imp cannon, actually. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I can set up the final spring bean as well. What we'll do next is iceberg lettuce. Freeze them all. Because that walnut up there is in serious trouble. I need a repeater or a pea shooter behind that as soon as possible. There we go. That also keep that M cannon from coming in as well. Fantastic. Spring beans at the ready. Launch. Still need more peas though, and spike weeds technically. Spike weed would be very useful too. I see a lane with the buckets. So what I'll do is I'll bring them all. There we go. Splendid. Now we only have two left down there. I'll do the same in this lane. I don't think the imp cannon will be affected by the spike weed though. But it is all we have left to deal with up there, so that's useful. That's nice. We're nearly there, surprisingly enough. I think I might be able to get by with just the spike weeds, perhaps. Of course, I'll save, um, spring beans playing food for last, possibly as well. We're nearly there. Yeah, I need a spike weed up there. That one pea shooter isn't gonna be able to cut it alone. Let me get Iceberg Lettuce back here. Oh boy, here they come. Well, most of them at least. Alright. I think we've got this. we got two plant foods. So what do we do with these then? Let's freeze everything. And then Spring Bean. Bounce them. Send them into the ocean. Awesome. Some of them landed right there, though. They didn't land in the ocean, they broke. I broke them. Put a pea shooter here, take out that imp cannon. Yeah, they're just gonna step into the water. Very, very nice. Hmm. Now I think all I really need is this spike weed here. Yeah, there we go. We got it. And of course, we have an upgrade from spike weed. It was an upgrade in the first game. Like I say, never got it. We're finally going to be seeing it here. And we've got the spike rock. Breaks three rolling objects, hurts zombies that step on it. So, an upgraded version of the spike weed. And it can take three rolling items and even gargantuars. It takes a while for gargantuars to take them down. Very strong. And of course, most of you are probably questioning why there's a rock in here. I mean, I guess rock gardens are a thing, I believe. So we're just going to roll with it, I suppose. So we got Spike Rock. Very nice. Very, very worth the wait, I'd say. Of course, three Spike Rock seeds. Very nice. Three Peter. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to level up three Peter. So yeah, ending off with unlocking Spike Rock. Let's go ahead and power him up real quick, why don't we, before we end off the video. Can't wait to use him. He is a bit pricey, but I think it should be just fine. Damage and toughness, that's very nice. So we've got a level 2 here. Not too bad. I think Spike Weed might have been retired for the most part. But, um, yeah. I also believe we only have one plant left to get in the Pirate Seas now. Another very familiar face near the end of the line. But thank y'all for tuning in this episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Um, we're close to wrapping up Pirate Seas already. And I believe from then we'll be able to get on to the next section, which should be just as challenging, if not even more. But other than that, um, check out my second channel in the description below if you want to see more content from me and content that isn't game related. I might, I've got a lot of nifty stuff over there that I think you guys might enjoy, perhaps. Um, share this video with your friends or anyone who may like Plants vs. Zombies that you know. Spread the word I'm here to entertain for one and all, and I'm looking for a bigger audience to entertain at that. I'm the fool playing the part. It is up to you guys to spread the word that the fool is entertaining for folks, though. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold, my friends, and bye bye